and hello there, everyone. The Empowerer, Issue 49. 10 Pro Tips That Will Boost Your Career In The Energy Industry. Mm, excellent. So, we are searching for incriminating documents within this um, office of power company stuff. a bunch of documents about the early days of the Armando Power Company. Seems like the Armando Power Company originally was a mining company. It says here they wanted to expand their operation further down into the mist, all the way down to the underland. It only makes sense that they wanted to do more mining and earn more money. That's what companies do. But in the underland? And that place is just fairy tales. Besides, it wasn't allowed, was it? You've got to remember that back then, diving down through the mist wasn't illegal. Anyone could try their luck. But none of those tries ever yielded anything. None of them ever came back dead or alive. I guess the fairy tales were amazing enough to make people risk their lives again and again. Their failed attempts to reach the Underland are very interesting, but it's not the information we're looking for. We want to know what's going on down there now. We've got to find that missing police report. Nah, nothing of interest in there. Only old bookkeeping in this drawer. Hey, here's a newspaper cutout from the day Barlow and Count and Dodo returned from their expedition. You mean the article from the Daily Post? Yeah. I saw that. Apparently, Barlow and Count and Dodo's expedition was the first one to ever make it back alive from the Underland. An extraordinary feat hmm. that many claim to be completely bogus since they didn't have a single shred of proof to show for it. Except for a battered old book with sketches and drawings in it that the captain had written along the way. Guess which book that is? Hey, we know that book. It's the Journal of the Journey Down! That's right. In the article, Barlow claimed that they had found some kind of strange new power source in the Underland and was eager to set up research and tap into this new amazing power. But Count and Dodo apparently refused to take part of the interview altogether. That's strange. I wonder why Count and Dodo didn't want to talk about it. More importantly, what was it Count and Dodo didn't want to talk about? And how did the Armando Power Company get involved in all this? That's when things really start to get interesting. Nah, nothing of interest in there. Only old bookkeeping. This is starting to be a little bit more tedious ah, than a file about the opening up, up the, the company safety deposit boxes really? in Payday 2. Let me see that. Upon Barlow and Count and Dodo's return from their expedition, the Armando Power Company quickly seized the opportunity and hired Barlow as a guide for their own operation. The investment was massive. It seems the power company spent its every penny on setting up the biggest, most well-prepared venture to the Underland known to man. The only thing they couldn't buy was Count and Dodo. What? Why not? He refused. Apparently, Count and Dodo was actually jailed for refusing to join the operation and later disappear to no one knows where. Well, we know where he wound up. He wound up in Kingsport Bay and adopted me and Kito. But where did he go when he left us? This document hmm. is older than that. It doesn't say. Maybe the Armando Power Company caught up with him. I don't know. Caught up with him? You mean... I don't know, Bona. We're getting more questions here than answers. We need to find that missing police report. Nah. This one. So, what happened is Count and Dodo ended up with the journal of the journey down with him. Nah. So. Uh. Hey, Buona. Yeah. Check this out. Oh! It's a safe. Buona, do you know how to pick a lock? Just stand back, lady. I got the situation under control. <laughs> nice try, Bona. Looks like we're going to have to figure out the code for this combination lock. I messed that panel up pretty bad, huh? It's alright. The buttons are still working. Okay, so... 
three by three, so one, two, three, four. Okay, so one and two, three and four are red, one and two are yellow. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so five is green. One, two, seven. No, wait. Yeah, five. Yeah, it was five. Okay, so five is correct. Let's try two, one, one. Okay, so now one doesn't. Two, two, two. Okay, so nine, five, two, one. Okay, so the beginning of the thing is nine, five, six, seven. No, wait, wait. Okay, so nine. Let's try nine, four, four. Five, four, four. Okay, so six five five gives us one green and three reds. Okay, so six one one gives us six two two gives us four reds. So does six three three. So does six six six. Is it alternating? No. Okay, so we need to figure out. Okay, let's try six nine eight five. Okay, so that means let's try six eight five nine. Hmm. Let's try one two three five. Okay, let's try. Okay, so that's one green, one yellow, two reds. So green means that it's in the right place. Yellow means that it's in the code somewhere. And red means that it's not even there. However, these don't directly correspond to this. Okay, so that gives us two yellows. Six, five, two, one gives us okay. So no six five two one gives us two greens. Okay, so four five six. So four. Okay, so now we've narrowed it down to the number that begins the sequence. No? Is it then that? No. No, I didn't think it was, no. Okay, so 
Okay, is, is it the fire that begins the sequence then? Uh, fucking... Why must you be so fucking difficult? Ah, you need to learn some fucking communication skills, you fucking asshole. Uh, four, five, two, one. Okay, so this gives us... Four, three, two, one. Okay. Okay, yeah, as I assumed, that gives us the wrong thing as well. So, 75. This is so fucking stupid. Oh my god, could, could, would you, could you fucking please walk like an Adip Egyptian? Fucking twat. Five, five, two, one. Okay, so now five isn't isn't a, a factor. Five doesn't belong there. Let's just... Okay, and if I do that, then... What? No. No, that needs to fucking stay constant. It needs to be that 2-1... Two, 2-1 one. Two, one needs to be the, the ending. Doesn't it? Okay, let's just... Let's go through the rest. We know that there's a 5, a 2, and a 1. We'll find out what the 4th is. And then we'll just try, try different permutations of the fucking code. Nah, fuck off, mate. You gave me the seven. You fucking twat heads gave me the seven. That should be... That fucking should... See, if I do this, yeah, we get one green. If I do this, we get one green. If I do this... If I do that, we get... Shit. Okay, so 2 isn't a part of the code, so I was wrong there. So 4 actually is... Got it. This document explains everything. Nikipo details high-level corruption in Port R2 and writes about the power company threatening to silence anyone who stands I in the way. I fucking hated even that goddamn Chief puzzle. Nikipo that's not himself. even a good puzzle. That's just that it. Nikipo's just try things experience. until something sticks. And the following replacement by Barlow. You mean Nikipo was murdered by the power company? Exactly. Barlow covered his tracks well, but now we found his dirty secret. Will you follow? Uh. Step on it! Don't know, hit the brakes. Hit the brakes. They're going to knock us right off the bridge! <laughs> we are being taken to a flying air fortress. This is... Worrying. Although, kudos to the pilot. Finally, I caught you. 
Let us go, you thieves! <laughs> Where's the book? Eh? Ha! You'll never lay your filthy hands on the Journal of the Journey down. Barlow has got it locked up in the Club Temba safe. <laughs> that feeble hmm. safe is no match for us pirates. Gentlemen! We are breaking in tonight! Okay, so we've been captured by the Sisulus. All right, you two. You can get out now. Thanks for the ride, man. You're lucky Madame Sisulu still has plans for you. Plans? What plans? Mm. Madame Sisulu knows everything about your research at the Agibo University. After we make our little visit to Club Demba tonight, you're going to help us use the journal. And what makes you think we'd help you? You pirates are nothing more than looters and grave robbers. But you do want to see the Underland, don't you? It's your dream, isn't it? Then you're gonna have to play by the Madam's rules. Now keep your mouths closed and stay out of our way. Wouldn't it be on, more Mama. logical Let's to keep them locked the up if you need them in the future as well? Mighty mud juggler, this place has got it like a fort. Looks like the power company has taken over the whole place. I bet they're here for the book. It's right up there in the safe. Where? Behind the big elephant head? No, it's inside the head. The vault door leads into the VIP room. I've seen it up close. And tonight, the pirates are gonna break in there and steal the book. Not if we do it fast. But that's impossible. How are we ever going to get inside? Come here, I'll show you. It's the back door to Club Temba. You think we can get in this way? I'm not sure. It looks robust. Give me a minute to work my magic. I might be able to break it open. All right, I'll go search for Keto and the airplane. Good idea. Hmm. Okay, so we need to find Keto and the airplane. Hello. Yo, what can I help you with, sir? I give him. No, nothing. Yet. Hey, sailor. Oh, hello there. What you sobbing for? <laughs> Nothing. It's it's complicated, all right? Yeah. Poor fellow always comes in here singing the blues. Ain't nothing but a little bit of heartbreak. We get a lot of that in here, you see. Ah, I get it. Who's the girl? It's Andiswa, the girl working over at the mayor's office. I got the biggest crush on her. Oh, I know Andy, man. Oh, she's a sweet girl. The sweetest girl in all the ports I ever dropped anchor. What's the problem? She don't love you back? No, I mean, I don't know. I haven't actually told her about my feelings yet. I'm too nervous to even say hi to her. Come on, just go tell her that you like her. I'm sure she'll be super flattered. Oh, <laughs> I wish I could just do that. But to tell you the truth, I don't know the first thing about girls. Ah, don't worry, man. Here's some free advice from Dr. Buana, certified love expert. For starters, why don't you ask her out? Watch a movie or something. I guess, I, I guess I could do that. But I only got this one movie. And somehow, I don't think it's appropriate for a first date. I was thinking more you could take her to the cinema. Oh, that's a great idea. But I don't have any money to buy tickets. The Sisulis left the entire crew penniless. Okay, just leave that to Buana. I'll find a way to set... Oh, if only... Okay, so, What's watch the, the video? video. Oh, this thing? German hardcore porn. Yeah, it's a romantic action movie, kind of. Cool. Tell you what, if you manage to get me movie tickets tonight, the video is yours. Wow. Sure. Awesome. All right, so let's go but... get this creep some tickets or something. Suspicious man. Greetings, sir. Welcome to Cinema Rex. Two tickets. <laughs> Certainly, sir. That will be $10. Special offer tonight. 
right. Oh, I'm sort of low on money right now. <laughs> uh, sorry, sir, but that's not how this business works. <laughs> Catch you. Enjoy. Wow, a popcorn machine. I've always wanted to have one of those. Oh, my apologies, but we are out of popcorn tonight. The pirates seized our last shipment and now all of my customers are left hungry. Oh, man. I really wish I had some popcorn for you, but I'm afraid there's really nothing I can do. Mm. Ah, but we've got corn. Hey, man, I got some corn for you. Could you help me load it in the popcorn machine, please? Shot it. Sir, I don't know how to thank you. My customers have been screaming for popcorn and I've had none to give them. No worries, man. I just felt like popping some corn. Please, accept these movie tickets as a token of my gratitude. It's the least I can do. Wow. It definitely is the least you can do, considering... Well, you will not be disappointed, sir. This movie is a true classic. That... that is where you make your money from. It's not the movies, really. As much as all the snacks and shit. No. To him. To the dead. No, sorry. Emma. Sad sailor. What? Wow! It's two tickets for the short cinema Rex tonight! Finally! I can ask Andiswa out! Thank you! Thank you so much! No problem, oh man. Ain't no love story too, Rex, but that's the one at a cure. The stud in the mud. One bold man's journey into the swamp of sin. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> like I said, it's a romantic action movie, kind of. All right, now, all of I know I... You go get her, man. Mm, yes, now we've got some German hardcore porn. I told you it was going to be porn. What's up, lads? Doing great. I... Mm. It's the train. It is the train station. Hmm. Oh. This is Alpha Squadron reporting in. Affirmative. We await your orders on this frequency, sir. I've got to get no. Affirmative, sir. Hmm, it's. Right, so they're getting orders over the radio. I've got them. They're here on Main Street at Lo Okay, so that's 99.4. I've got them, they're here. 99.4. Hey, Martin. Street at local Lonnie's used mattress kingdom. Go over here now and grab them while they're still here. 
What are you waiting for? Go get them now while the offer stands. It's a bargain. Affirmative, sir. Alpha Squadron moving in to apprehend suspects at local Lonnie's on Main Street. Alpha Squadron, over and out. I've got them. They're here on Main Street at local. Okay, so I think that'll get rid of the gangsters and the suspicious man. Oh, it's a delivery from Rosa's Flowers up in St. Armando. Tulips, 40 millimeter caliber. It says, fragile, handle with care. Roses, two megatons. Hmm, I sort of get... Mm -hmm. Just... Just more dodgy cri... Just more da... Just more dodgy crates from Rosa's flowers. Okay, well, at least we know the... The gangsters are well armed. Hey, Kito, my man! Hey, Buona! Good to see you again! What you been up to, Mon? Man, I've been through a lot of wacky stuff. This city is full of crooks. <laughs> Guess I fit right in with the prison suit then. You find Lena? Yeah, she's okay. We're gonna break into a safe and snatch the book back. Then we're busting out and fought at you. Good plan, man. Hmm. Is the plane okay? The plane is in excellent condition, man. Awesome! We just need to hoist it out of this. Hey, maybe you should use that. I'll go to okay, so big crane. Got okay. Do we need fuel as well? Like, just as a kind of a conversation piece. Hey, I... Going up? Man, I, it's pitch dark. I gotta find a way to get some light up here. Okay, so first we had to fix the lighthouse. Now it appears we have to break it. Hello, man. Um, it's work. It is working. Keep your part. These mechanics are so complex, I can't even understand them myself. Okay, so we need to distract him. So that reel is rusted that we know. Man, it needs to. So oil. Yeah. And. Please something to distract him. Golly gun whales! It's the old... <laughs> it be the old mistraker. Jiminy criminy, she's beautiful. Look at her plough with sky sails almost bursting at the seams. I mustn't let her out of my sights. And... East-ish. Ah, ah, oh, fucking on one. That's ah, not here. Through there. Backtracking does sometimes get very tedious. Man, I, ca it's I can't. I find oh, fuck off! Fuck right off! Yes, you can. Fucking, the light is shining right on your fucking gob. What the fuck am I supposed to do with this fucking thing? Turn it on, and then just turn it off. Okay, so... No, no that, that, that's, that's not enough, that's not enough. On and off immediately, and that's too much, so it needs to be about... Is that good? I don't know. I don't know if that's good. Is that that's good? Is, is it properly lit up now? Would you like to tell me? 
would you like to tell me before I get into this elevator whether or not it's adequately lit up? All right, little plane, come to Papa. Apparently it was. Sweet job, piece of cake. I'll prepare the airplane for takeoff. This time we'll have a full tank of gas. Good idea, man. I'll go help Lena break into the club. Good luck, Buana. And watch out for those guards, fool. They look pretty mean. Don't you worry, Kito. They won't even notice the books missing until we're far, far away. Mm, no, I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I'm gonna quickly go and turn on the lighthouse because otherwise I'll feel bad. Fuck off. You should at least have the common courtesy to fix what you've broken. So yeah, that got rid of the mobsters and the suspicious man. Nice break in. <sighs> How are we coming along with the airplane? Tito's got the plane ready for takeoff. Now all we need Great. I'm almost done hacking through the elevator's altitude algorithm. There! The elevator leads. All right, I'll meet you guys. Good luck. Oh, and Buana. Those guards mean business. Yeah, but why exactly am I going in alone? Okay, so that camera is pointed at that door. There's two elephant heads there. Uh oh. Looks like we need another key code. So, it, it's going to be, yeah, these three numbers are worn off, so... 156, uh, one, four. Got it! Well... Whoa. Uh, hi! Whoa! I guess he didn't hear me come in. Good thing he's got that headset on. This stuff. <laughs> hmm. Maybe if we record some and then play it back again, I won't show up on his screen. I've seen them do it in the movies. Hmm. hmm. Here, hallway camera. This seems pretty simple. First record. And then press play. Guess that did the trick. He seems to have his eyes glued to the movie. I kind of want to see what's going on. Oh. Man. Uh oh. Someone is standing guard. Okay, someone is standing guard right next to oh, the thing. Man. That won't help. Man, that. Ah, these windows must be made out of shatterproof glass. Hmm. Plunger. <laughs> no. Time to climb some scary heights, I guess. Here goes. Wanna just jump from Hold it right there. Second story window. Sir, we've got them in the harbor. Hand over the book, and no one gets shot. Get out of your face. There's more of them coming. 
Hey, why are you helping us all of a sudden? Is this a trap? Yeah, who's paying you this time, Barlow? What's in it for you? Nothing. There's nothing in this for me. Things used to be so simple back when Ken Andoro was around. Power company, money corrupted me. That corrupts everything. Ken Andoro was the only one who had the guts to stand up against them. After that, I paid the ultimate price. Now it's my turn to pay. To pay for my greed. I'll hold them off. Take the plane to the Underland and blow them in off this whole rotten mess. Now go! Go! Seems to be a bit. Yeah, it looks like you made it, Buana. We finally reached our destination. I'm sure it'll be fine. Take us down to that beach. We'll do. Underland, here we come. at the end. What? They stole the book? They've got some guts. <laughs> this is our chance. <laughs> Pirates! It's time for the raid of your lives! Call in the fleet! Oh, apparently it wasn't the ending. Ah, wow. I haven't slept like that for years. Okay then. Strange. Wow. Yeah, I kind of expected the ending to be there. But since it wasn't, and since we've already gone on for 40 minutes, it is now time to end this episode and... Uh, as always, thank you for joining me, if you have done so, and until next time, goodbye!